Hi traders, SWC is up today 9.7%. I think it's going to continue higher. That's a very nice reversal, very nice volume, 1.5 million. About to buy, okay. Buying 4,000 shares, SWHC long. Hope it's going to continue over the highs. Well, SWHC is not doing that great. Ooh. It's looking bad. I'm already down $1,200 selling. Okay, that was the first initial trade of the day. Looking for my second trade. Google is down 1.8%. It's a nice breakdown formation here. I'm just about to short it under 697. Okay, here we go. It's just about to move under the lows. My stop is approximately $2. I'm risking $1,600. Okay, nice initial breakdown. It should continue. It's a very nice downside momentum. It's not enough. 50 cents. Need to see it under 696. Need to see at least $2 partial. Here we go. Okay, we're under 696. Look at the buyers and sellers. You can already see the sellers moved down under 696. That's a good sign. It should continue. Here we go. Look at the sellers. Watch the sellers and the buyers all the time. Level 2 data is very, very important. I'm getting ready to buy 500 shares. Okay, we have $2. Can it break down under 695? I'll be surprised, but this just may happen. Here we go. Under 695. Again, look at the buyers and the sellers. That's where I mostly watch. I don't always watch the chart itself. Okay, I'm up $1,800. Buyers and sellers, level 2 data is more important. Here we go. You can see the sellers moving down to 694.50 and less. Okay, here's the pullback. Buying. Just covered 500 out of my 800 shares. Up $1,800 brings me back to green territory. SYNA is down 10%. That's a very nice reversal point over here. I'm about to short. Okay, shorting. 4,000 shares. 400 shares. I'm not taking risk right now. I'm back to green territory and I would like to stay that way. Usually lowering my size when I get back to green. Look at SYNA. It's not going anywhere. I'm down $150. However, take a good look at the level 2 data. And again, I'm coming back and back to the level 2 data, which is very important. Look at this big buyer over here. 4,100 shares. So this guy here, and by the way, the number of shares, you should multiply that by hundreds. So that's add two zeros. So that's a big buyer with 40,000 shares right now, which prevents the stock from falling down right now. So that's a large buyer who's supporting the price right now. You can see the sellers, but they can't get over this big buyer. Now, that's a big question whether we can move under or not. Now, of course, if this buyer is just going to buy everything he needs, then maybe if it's not going to renew his size, we could move down. However, you can see the buyers are jumping in right now because they realize that uh, there's one big buyer that is holding the price up. So that sometimes it's a good idea to long a stock when you see a big buyer like that. Not, that's not usually what I do. But that is something that is very, very, it makes sense to do. Okay, so I need to use a shorter stop loss right now. There's, again, a big buyer. And I'm a little bit concerned that we cannot move under 54.50. And again, watching the buyers and sellers all the time. So if my original stop loss was just over $55, right now I have to use a new stop loss, which is going to be at 54.70. So in fact, in this case, realizing that there's a big buyer, I shouldn't use my original stop loss. I should tighten up my stop and in fact lose money in case it goes the wrong way which i believe there's a very good chance it will i'm getting ready to buy just in case i'm going to see the buyers moving over actually sellers here moving over 54.70 now i'm still hoping it's it could go down under 54.50 but the chance is much lower now
So again, it's very, very important to watch the level two in order to figure out where your stop loss should be, whether it should go long or short. And again, it's moving dangerously close to the 54.70. So again, using the level two data in order to find the buyers and the sellers is of huge importance. You can know who's waiting for you as a buyer in case you want to short a stock. Sometimes you don't short a stock, like in this case right now, you shouldn't short a stock if you see a large buyer. But if you go long, you should also look for sellers. So it's very, very important to watch for sellers who are waiting for you just in case the price moves up. So if I would decide to go long right now, I would look for the sellers. And right now, for example, I don't see any sellers or very small quantity, in fact. So that could be a good idea to go long. Well, I'm still short trying to uh, get um, this trade into green territory, but if I would have considered going long, this is something that I would probably need to do. So in fact, I don't really understand traders who don't use level two data in order to trade. This is of huge importance and just impossible not to use it. Okay, I am, I believe, done for the day. SYNA is down $200. I had a nice trade in uh, LL earlier, and Google, of course, was my best. My first loser, of course, SWHC, but I'll finish my day in green territory, $1,100. Thank you very much for watching. Traders, if you would like to learn trading, you can join my online trading room, trade live with me, and even mirror my trades. It is a 14-day free trial. You can sign up now. If you don't have a trading account, you can open a Colmex account and get free access to my trading room. Thank you very much for watching.